Hey y'all, it's Penny and welcome back. Today I have a library book haul for you guys. Um, and before I get into it, I just want to kind of explain my reasoning for why all of these books are really smart. Every year, my boyfriend and I have a bet where if I meet my Goodreads reading challenge, um, he buys me a really nice set of books. And if I lose, if I don't hit that goal, I buy him a very nice cologne. And I have lost the last two years. And this year I am determined to win, even though I'm 50 books behind right now of my goal of 250. So when I went to the library, I decided to seek out some small books and graphic novels. Now I'm not willing to read small books for the sake of reading short books. I want them to actually be enjoyable. Um, so I got some poetry, some graphic novels, uh, some shorter books, and I'm going to talk about them. Uh, so the first book we've got is one that I actually had on hold. That is uh, Captive Prince by C.S. Pacat. This is a dark romance and one that I've heard a lot about on booktube. And as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm trying out different types of romance to see what I like. So that's what this one is. Next up, we have Dale Fahrenheit 451 by Annie Spence. And this is a collection of letters to books. And I thought it was a really interesting uh, concept. We've got things like Daryl Blood Meridian by Cormac McCarthy. And it's just a little one or two page letter to that book. So I'm really intrigued in this. I love books about books, like every other booktuber on the planet. Next up, we have one that I had never heard of, but it was on the new releases rack. And it's called Over the Woodward War by A. Deborah Baker. It seems like a middle grade book to me. Um, I don't know too much about it other than it's about two kids who are each unique in their own way that live on the same street but in different words. And uh, they end up going into a fantasy land. So I think it's like a part of fantasy. But it sounded intriguing and lately I've been really liking the middle grades that I've been reading. Even more than YA, I prefer a dark fantasy, uh, but middle grade fantasy is so whimsical and light. So I've been kind of seeking out new ones to read. So I'm looking forward to this one. And if you guys have any recommendations, definitely let me know. Next up, we have a collection of poetry by Ursula K. Le Guin. I actually did not know that she wrote poetry. Um, I have read some of her science fiction books and I love them. So this is a book of her final poems so it seems like it might be a little morbid but I'm interested in to see what she has to say. Next up we have a graphic novel and this is actually one that I requested after hearing about it on Jen Campbell's YouTube channel which I'll leave down below. This is El Defo by C.C. Bauer. Um, it's a graphic novel about a girl who is deaf and I believe she gets um, one of the implants and it's kind of the story of her adapting to that. Um, it's not very long. The artwork isn't necessarily my style but I am interested in the story. Next up we have another graphic novel. This one I put it on hold due to the title which is Bloodlust and Bonnets by Emily McGovern. That just seems right up my alley. Um, I'm assuming it has to do with pirates and Victorian times. I will say I do not like the artwork. <laughs> it, it's very unique. It's a little Minecraftian, I think, but I am intrigued by the story. And I do like the use of color, um, even though I don't like the artwork very much. I like the shades that are used, so we'll see how that one turns out. Next we have a tiny graphic novel. Um, this is In Love in Pajamas by, uh, who is the author? 
Oh no. Katana Flatland? Yeah. Oh, this slide on the front. Oh my god. But I have read one of our previous collections and I thought it was really cute. This will take me no more than like an hour to read. It's just a collection of web comics or comic strips about being in love. So that's really cute. Next up, we have one of Jen Camber's books, uh, the booktuber that I mentioned previously. This is Rare Things Customers Say in Bookstars. And I've been wanting to read one of her books for a while because I love her booktube channel. If you don't follow her, she has some really great insight into books with disability rep and I love her reviews of books. Um, I always come away with something that I didn't have before even with books I'd already read previously and I just love her content. So again, I'm going to leave a link to our channel down below. Um, but this is a nonfiction book and it's exactly what it sounds like. Next up, we have a book that I have read before. Uh, this is Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. I actually hated this book, um, but I wanted to like it. And I'm hoping that maybe I just wasn't in a good headspace for it. I wasn't in the mood for this kind of cosmic sci-fi. So I'm going to give it another shot. It's not very long. If I remember correctly, I read it back in 2018 or maybe 2017. And it took me about a day to finish. But again, I, I just want to give Zach Vandermeer another chance because it sounds like something I would like. So I think maybe I just wasn't in the mood for it and I need to give it another go. Next up, we have one of the ones I'm most excited about. This is Neil Gaiman's The Sandman, volume one. Um, I love Neil Gaiman. I have read almost everything he's written, including his adult books, books for kids, like pixel books and middle grade books. I love all of it. And, but I have never read the Sandman series and I think there's a TV show coming out. So I want to give this a shot and I believe this is the correct starting point. It's a little intimidating. I know there are a ton of volumes, but it's now gaming, so I will probably like it. Next up, we have another collection of poems. This is fairly recent. I think it came out in 2021. Um, but this is Daily by Margaret Atwood. Margaret Atwood is, of course, the author of The Handmaid's Terror and Cat's Eye and The Blind Assassin and a ton of other books. She's an amazing author, but I have never read her poetry. Then we have a new release that came out this past week, I believe. It's either this past week or this week, but I think it's last week. It's called The Prettiest Star by Carl Sickers. Um... This is an LGBTQ plus book, but the main reason I got it is that it's set in small town Appalachia, and that is where I spend all of my 20s and daydream every day about living in again. I love the mountains, specifically the North Carolina mountains. So that's why I got this one, and it's appropriate since it's Pride Month. Next up, we have a romance book that was popular on booktube maybe last year or the year before, and that's The Flat Sarah by Beth O'Leary. Um, you've probably heard about this, but basically there are two people who share a flat, but one of them works during the day and one of them works at night. And I believe they start leaving notes for one another and they develop a romance. So that seems fun and light. Next up, this one... <laughs> I don't know anything about this, but it started um, facing out at the library and it looked really cute. So this is T.S. Eliot's Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. And I think it's just art and poetry about cats. And as a cat lover and cat owner, I'm down. And then finally, we have a graphic novel card Station 16. Um, this is by I don't know it just says Harmon. Um I, I don't know, it just says Harmon and uh Eve's eight. 
but I was drawn to this for the nuclear explosion on the cover because I am really into anything post-apocalyptic and I'm hoping that's what this is. I don't think it is though. Um, the back says that it takes place in Russia, north of the Arctic Sarkar, and there's a sudden nuclear explosion. Good enough for me. Um, I've freaking never heard of this. And the art's not perfect, but I'm very intrigued by this. So anyway, that's all of the library books I got today. I'm going to try to read these all within the next three weeks, along with other books that I have going on. If you read any of them, let me know what you think. And if you have any recommendations for other romance books, other poetry collections, or just any tiny sort like books or novellas that will let me beat my boyfriend this year and get a really nice book set, definitely let me know. I think, you know, it's been three years. I, I want to win. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.